Welcome to a new daily top ask reddit video. Today's topic. Women of reddit, what is your, I am the client not my husband stop ignoring me. Story. My old teacher told me a story about a cold caller. A man phoned the house phone, this was around the 80s forward slash IATs when people still had house phones, asking for the man of the house to talk about changing supplier for something or other. My teacher, a woman, told the man that her husband was away on a business trip and to call back the next day. He called the next day, again asking for the man of the house, and she informed him that her husband had been delayed and to call back the next day. He called the next day, and she informed him that due to bad weather his flight had been delayed until later on that night, so please call back the next day. He called the next day, she put her husband on, the man asked about changing to his company's service. The husband informing him that his wife dealt with all the bills and please talk to her. My teacher took the phone, said no thank you and hung up. This is amazing, the level of petty I could only aspire to be. Trying to collect a parcel from the post office that was addressed to both me and my husband. Was told that my husband had to come to collect it. I asked whether they meant both of us had to be there and the response was no just him. Needless to say I was not happy and after a while arguing they gave me the parcel. That is nuts. I've never thought about this before because I'm male, but I pick up the mail for my parents all the time. One time my sister went and even after showing ID they said number. I'm putting two and two together now, wow. Edit, to the people saying wow you're just realizing this. No, I am not. I've been aware of a lot of things before, and I like to think I'm informed but it never occurred to me that in this particular situation that something wrong happened. To the other people who are sharing their own stories and providing me more information and examples, thank you, this is exactly what I was looking for. It's incredible how similar a lot of the stories are. Thank you. So much male privilege summed up ha 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 yeah I don't have a lot to say about that. I'm not some brain dead fucking child. Some people are very quick to crucify others, and over something so small. Disappointing. It's called learning, it's called growing. Don't disparage others for doing so, that's very low. The wild thing is your sister wouldn't have known it was a sexist thing and you wouldn't have either but you got approval and affirmation and she got rejected. And that's how both your days went. I'm 22. Whenever I'm home and the postman has a packet for my parents he always asks if my daddy is here and he won't give me the package. Last time my 16 year brother opened the door and the postman gave him the package no questions asked. I don't think I look young or whatever but it seriously drives me crazy I can't stand the guy. Ah oh, this sucks. Genuinely one of the most surprising, to me, I'm sure my partner wasn't surprised, things that I've experienced was when a parcel was delivered to our local post office and the guy behind the counter couldn't find it so he told my partner it wasn't delivered. No matter how much she argued, offered to show him her delivery notification email, or demanded he check again he condescendingly said it's not here darling, come back another day. I went immediately afterwards, he said it's not here and I said go check. That's it, that's all I said. I had no great argument and no new evidence but I was a man telling him what to do so he did it. He came back with our parcel and acted like there was nothing wrong, like my partner hadn't just come back nearly in tears over a confrontation with a dickhead too sexist to even consider listening to a woman once he'd decided he knew better. Fucking hell that sucks. Selfishly, it's always a little vindicating when it happens in front of a man, I feel like saying see. I'm not crazy. This happens. I think it's because my dad and brother would always make it seem like it hadn't really happened that way, or we were exaggerating, or we did something to provoke the sexist reaction. Luckily my husband gets it. He always deals with mechanics for this reason. This is even more infuriating than most of the stories here. Something that isn't even gendered in our culture, a parcel, with both your names on it, and they had to go and dial the misogyny up to 11. This August I bought a new truck and took my boyfriend with. He is white and I am Mexican, we arrived at the dealership and I asked about the Explorer they had front and center. Salesman comes over and is asking a bunch of questions to my BF. He told him it's for me. I was ignored for the entire conversation. I got up and started looking at the truck. A Hispanic salesman comes and asks me if I need help. I was out of there within 1.5 hours keys in hand. Found my BF with the other salesman. I looked at BF and said I bought the one I wanted Manny G got me squared away. 
the look of utter disappointment and anger on the guy's face was worth it. My BF chuckled and told said I told you she was the one buying. Manny you were great. Oh man the schadenfreude of this one is so good. Manny knew what was up and saw an easy sale, just listen to the customer. Makes you wonder how many sales Manny gets off that guy. Oh man that is brilliant. Guy lost a sale and wasted his time with a guy who wasn't even buying, when he could have helped another customer. And not even lost a sale to other place, just to a co-worker that was simply better than him. I was trying to buy a TV about 10 years ago at Fry's Electronics. BF came along to help carry big box. Every time I asked a question the employee would answer by turning to my BF and talking to him. Even when he said stuff like it gets her TV he still faced and made eye contact only with my BF. I was getting pretty irritated, the last straw was when I was handing him my credit card and he turns to my BF to ask if he wants the 2YR warranty. Finally I snapped at him it's not his TV I am buying this TV stop trying to sell IT to him. I was pissed and it was the most irritating and sexist customer service I've ever experienced. Edit, nom 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 karma. Let me tell you about that place. I used to work there. They told me the dress code was to wear flattering women's office attire. Why? No one else was. If I wore skirts they suddenly had me stocking CDRWs on the top shelf with the ladder. One sexist comment after another. Preference of males over females when writing up the schedule. So I quit. Every single day I felt like I was a walking joke over there. After only two months. I really needed work too as I had just gotten my own place. That's exactly where I experienced something similar. I was buying a printer and my platonic friend needed a digital camera, this was about 10 years ago. We went there together and the salesman would not even look at me. So, basically this is how it would go. Salesman, what features are you looking for? Friend would turn to me, what features are you looking for? I would answer, I'm looking for a Wi-Fi enabled color all-in-one with scanner and copier. Friend would turn to salesman, she is looking at a Wi-Fi enabled all-in-one with a scanner and copier. And repeat this with every question that was asked. We walked off after a while because of just how ridiculous it is. After we went over and he looked at cameras, we returned to the printers, thinking we could avoid him. Fortunately, I saw another salesman who just happened to be the little brother of an old friend of mine from HS, so I made sure he got the commission. Wow you'd think the salesman would take a hint. When I had my appendix taken out, I asked my doctor when sex would be okay again. He turned to my husband and said whenever you feel ready, you can begin sexual relations again. I don't know if he was uncomfortable talking to me about it, or was deferring to what my husband would prefer. Either way, it was strange. I've had a gynecologist speak only to my husband. I wanted to scream he doesn't have a vagina but I was too shocked. I don't go into the office with my so. I sit in the waiting room with her, when she gets called in, I ask her if she'd like some company, and she always says number. I always ask because she might want privacy, or she might want me there for better understanding or something, but I'm effectively just the driver for her appointments. If she wants me in the room, fine, I'm in. If she wants privacy, fine, I'm just outside. I've had a doctor edit general practitioner, not gynecologist ask me a question on her behalf one time and she was perfectly able to answer at the time to I shrugged and said I dunno, ask her, it's her stomach. She's a lot of things to me, but she's not my car, lol. Don't ask me for her symptoms. Most of these posts are making me shake my head. This one just made me go ewww. That's just wrong. When my wife had her appendix out he told me that sex could happen when her body felt good and ready and if I pressured her it could do damage. Wasn't planning on it but both of us were so happy to have a male doctor reinforcing that it was her body to control. I think it helped that he really liked her, she asked all kinds of good questions and even asked if they could take some pictures for her since she couldn't keep the appendix. She had them for years, I'm sure they're still in a box somewhere. My wife is weird and I love it happened to my mom when we went to look at colleges. The admissions guy opened by shaking my dad's hand, constantly directed questions at my dad, and would look to him for confirmation whenever my mom said something. My mom is de facto the money person of our family unit. She manages the family finances and investments and stuff, and was way 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 more qualified to comment on things like student loans or expected contribution. 
When we left that meeting she was absolutely furious that she had to basically fight the admissions person to have a normal conversation. I am the money person in our relationship and this happens to me all the time. Every car we've bought, place we've rented, investment we've made, you name it. My husband is now very confident in telling the people that if they keep trying to talk to him about it the only decision he will be able to make is telling them to get lost. Edit, my first gold. Thank you. Lol my mom made my dad return a car when she found out what he paid for it then got the same car for far less thousands less. She's the real life Peggy Hill. ETA, Season 12 Episode 13 Y'all. Educate your damn selves before you come for Ms. Peggy, Esku Sham. My mom is single when she went and did all the paperwork with my sis, she was 17 for a few more months, they asked automatically when her husband would be there I'm glad I wasn't in that office when that happened. Lol, when my mom was single, before she got married and had kids, she was at a job interview. She had an Eastern European maiden name but the interviewer thought it was Japanese, which is sort of understandable because of how it's spelled, and asked her if her Japanese husband would be okay with her working full time if they offered her the job. I guess they assumed she was married to some kind of old school traditional Japanese man who might not want her out of the house 40 hours a week. She was so surprised by the question she just said yeah, he'll be fine and laughed as she decided that maybe she didn't want to work for this guy after all. 